Oh, hello. Uh, so in this video, I thought I'd try something slightly different. I thought I'd try out a new accent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my jaw less often. I'm going to enunciate slightly better, especially the letter T. And I'm going to change some letters, some sounds of letters. For example, the letter U, I'm going to change to more of an A sound. So, for example, the word match. And here we go. So what I hope is that, with a little bit more effort, I may be able to reproduce an accent which resembles Mr. Jacob Rees Mogg. Wow, uh, I've actually got a bit of a dry throat now after all that, um, all that, uh, it's something in the throat, you know, this thing with the throat uh, like vibrates. Anyway, uh, what's the first product? It's a kit and we've got a potentiometer, or some people call it a trimmer, um, <coughs> and it's a, it's labelled 103, which means um, 10k, uh, 10 and 3 zeros, 10k. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. A bit better, isn't it? And we've got three transistors, or look like transistors, some resistors, an LED. What's that? Is that a thermistor or something? I don't don't really know what that is. I think it's a thermistor. 1K and we've got a buzzer so what is this? Um, I actually have no idea to say uh, ICSK061A so as usual I've got a kit and I have no absolutely no idea what it is um, I'm afraid I'll have to wait until I see the listing with that one because, yeah, I've got no chance. Let's put these bits back in and move along. Yep, unfortunately don't know what that is at the moment. Second part. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> Let's see if I can get this out. So, here we've got, well, we've got another thing, we've got a potentiometer. Um, so we've got something in and something out. What's that chip there? LM393. Now, I happen to know what that is, and that's a comparator. Okay. So I take it we have to power this and add the grounds, and then, hmm, no, I don't really know. I, it looks like some sort of comparator uh, to output which is the highest of the two or something like that. So in, out, if it's comparator though, you would have thought it would have two inputs. Hmm, another one, I don't know what this is, what does that say? Book. Book? It's not a book converter, is it? Or is it? No, I don't think so. So, LM393, which I know that's comparator. PTV1.1. Okay, I don't know what that is again, um, unfortunately, but we'll find out. I hope I know what one of these items is, at least. What's this? L... 7912CV L7912CV L7912 What's that? Um, I think I know what that is I think that's a negative voltage regulator Yeah, so say you need to have a, a negative you need to regulate a negative voltage, like for example minus 5 volts or whatever, I think that's what this is, like an AMS, well, I shouldn't say AMS 117 because there are lots of different ones, there's um, what was it, L, L7805 as an all voltage regulators, but this is a negative voltage regulator, so it's if you want to regulate like a minus voltage. Um, I'm sure I've been over this before actually, this particular one. Anyway. I'll have to have a look at that uh, in the listing again. 
What's next? Ah, what's this? <coughs> CJ MCU 44003. It's got VCC, ground, SCL, SDA. Right, so SCL and SDA. It's an I squared C device. Int is interrupt and A0 is usually analog 0, I, I think. Um, let's look at the other side. Ah! That's a telltale sign there. That's a light sensor, I think. See here, this little thing. I'm sure it's a light sensor. Some resistors there, 10k resistors. I think that's a light sensor. But um, yeah, we'll check. Put this back in here. Looks like a light sensor to me. There's um, there's actually one that I've already um, shown you guys at some point. It was uh, BH1750, I think. Am I right in saying that? What's the next item? <coughs> well, this looks interesting. What's this? Atmel 16824C256 Atmel 168, well that's a microcontroller but one that I've never used before so 24256, what's the significance of that? maybe that's something to do with the amount of flash memory or something, I'm not too sure we've got VCC, SCL, SDA, and ground, so it's able to do uh, I, um, I squared C. That will be 5 volts probably, or maybe 3.3. .3. Now what on earth is this? WP, is that right protect maybe? A0, A1, A2, analog, 0, 1, and 2. LC technology, so again we can... Um, we should be able to look into this and find out exactly what it is, but it, to me it looks like a microcontroller, but then without having WP on it, on those numbers, it looks a little bit like an EEPROM, so I don't know, it's, I think it's a microcontroller, but we'll see anyway. That's the next item, I'm actually not being very, not very lucky in this, um, in this video of knowing what's what. Right, what's this one? Now I've had this one for a long, long time. Um, IC Station sent it to me ages and ages ago, and I, sh I should have done something with it ages ago. Anyway, what have we got here? It's, um... Let's have a look. GSM Spectrum 900M to 1800M. TTL UART, made in China. Um, let's have a look, what's this? GPRS. Presumably it's a GPRS transceiver. Which way would this go on here? Um, presumably that way. Yeah, it looks like a GPRS transceiver. So, you know, um, there's like a, a, I don't know if it's called a band really, but there's, um, yeah, let's just say it's a band, uh, you know, it's EDGE, GPRS, uh, 3G, etc. Different protocols of uh, internet access for phones. So that's quite interesting. You could um, send and receive data. Of course you need a SIM card. These are fairly archaic now though, these. Looks like it's been used as well, that. That's very strange. They're taken out of an old phone or something. Anyway, that would go there like that. You put your SIM card in. And here's the uh, antenna. Presumably that would go there. And um, <coughs> it's got TXD and RXD. So you could um, control this thing via a microcontroller. There's a diode there as well and various other bits and pieces. And here, 
Yeah, so presumably you'd be able to send text messages via an Arduino, which I suppose that is quite cool. Now you'd have to get a converter though, um, you know, to get your SIM card that big, because I haven't seen a SIM card that big for a long time. Okay, some cool stuff. So anyway, let's find out where I've got them from and, and stuff. Right, so here we go. In no particular order. L7912, negative voltage regulator. Cost me £1 for a 10, so it's 10p each. From PJS Parker. And what's it say? Well, nothing really, just negative voltage regulator. Okay, fair enough. So I brought this up as well. Which is a data sheet for it. Why isn't it going up? All oh, right, okay. Well, let's see what it says. Three terminal negative regulators available in blah 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 different ways. They provide on card regulation, eliminating the distribution problems associated with single point regulation, and the same voltage option as the L7800 positive standard series. Okay, so. Um, like I said earlier, there's L7805, which is a plus 5 volt regulator. Well, yeah, this is the same, it's same, but for negative voltage. Um, so, yeah, that's all it is, just a voltage regulator, but for negative. Let's move on. So, this thing, I'm sure I got it from IC Station, but I can't find it there. So, maybe I didn't, maybe I did get it from there, I'm not too sure. However, you can get it from eBay from BS France for £3.71 plus 96p, so about £4.50, something like that. And it's a, it's actually a modem, let's have a look. Um, see full item description. It's in French. Here you go. GPRS communication module kit to be assembled based on chipset, blah blah blah. It's very cheap, GSM kit is made of that and a SIM card. Blah 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 can be used with Arduino, AT Tanya, any other platform. Control is very simple thanks to AT commands. And it's done via UART. So that is pretty pretty cool. So if you were to get an, a SIM card and put it in, you'd be able to um well I don't know is the word consume, consume GPRS data or transmit data via GPRS, which I think is quite cool really. Um and it's a three point three volt device. Um so yeah, oh, and there's some sample code there. That is quite cool if you think about it. And there's the thing when it's set up completely. And here's the data sheet for it. But I don't really think I need to look at this because I know it's a it's a modem of some sort to send um, yeah cell phone data if you like. Let's move on to the next item. So the next one is LM393 chip, voltage comparator module, signal high, low level, adjustable dual output. This is from XYZ HOU 2012 and it's £1.22. Now this, as you can see, is not exactly the same because on my one there are two um, rails of three pins. On this one there's an additional two. But it does say here, um, load can be LED, relay, optocoupler, buzzer, etc. So, um, potentiometer. Now let's see if it explains how this works. Yeah, signal input, signal ground, a negative supply, an output, a positive supply, negative load, and load positive. Yeah, I don't really understand that. Let's have a look. I mean, I know the idea of a comparator is that it, it, gets two voltages, compares them both together, and outputs a single thing, either high or low, depending on which one is the higher voltage. Um, and they usually have some precision. Yeah, it says precision, voltage, linear, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so if the voltages are close, it can still decide which is the higher one of the two. Yeah, I don't know a great deal about that, but that's the general idea. Anyway, £1.22 from the seller I mentioned. Free postage for one. Let's move on. Uh, this is the data sheet for the chip, but it, like I said, it's just a comparator. That we don't really need to go into too much depth. 
Uh, two independent precision voltage comparators with an offset voltage specification as low as 2 mV max for two comparators which are designed specifically to operate from a single power supply over a wide range of voltages. Um, there's no point in going into that much more. The next one, right, now this one apparently is a good uh, module. It was recommended by one of my subscribers actually. So anyway, new ambient light sensor module for Arduino with 4 pin, 4P four pin header max 44009 hot from h quality underscore electronic and I've bought a lot of stuff from them £1.79 and basically yeah it's just a light sensor usually there's something right down the bottom if you go down is there anything here? oh that's strange there's nothing there oh, that is a pain so there's no data, but basically it's a light sensor. Um, let's see if I can find it on here. There we go. Uh, industry's lowest power ambient light sensor with ADC. So wide lux range, 3.3 volts, low operating current, Suitable for smartphones, notebooks, industrial sensors. Yeah, so I'll have to give that one a try. It looks very, um, looks very good. Let's move on. The next one is Signal Flash Light DIY Kit Radiation Power Electronic Fund Kit. So, same seller, 99p. Let's see what this says about it. Phone call light kit. Right, okay. So it senses GSM signal display, sensing distance up to a meter. So I think if you power this and keep it near your phone, it detects when uh, you when there's a signal, and it starts flashing. It seems probably. So I suppose that's quite a cool thing to try out and eventually find out how it works. Um, so what's the next item? Now the next item, AT24C256 chip sockets I2C serial EEPROM. Now I, th I had a gut feeling before that it was used as an EEPROM, so yeah, electronically erasable programmable read-only memory. Data storage, so it's being used, so this microcontroller is being used as a uh, storage device basically. 99p from 2013, best by best. Let's have a look what it says. Um, yeah, right, protect, yeah, blah, 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 can hold data even when the power is removed. If you need more storage for a project or you want to learn how to use EEPROM, then this module is designed for you. Supplies an extra 256,000 bytes for your project. You only need to s simply wire them via I2C. So it is quite cool, I suppose, I2C EEPROM, to get an extra 256 Kilobytes, I suppose that is very cool. I'll have to give that a go as well. So there you go. Uh, there are all the items for this Posters Here video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.